audio transmission was received from an unknown radio source within the northeastern region of the continental United States. The radio signal has been deciphered from a secret broadcasting facility and is now being transmitted to your listening device. This is the Nostalgia Cafe. And welcome back to the greatest memories of your childhood, the Nostalgia Cafe. We're so glad you found us. I am Dan Morrow. I am the dreamy Sam Sytel. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, joining us is the beautiful Karen Lynn. <laughs> and, we, and we are your guides as we take you on the journey of your lifetime. But first things first, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us. Tell all your friends about us. We could use all the help we can uh, get. Please. We're still fairly new. Please like it. You Just can find us on seconds. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course YouTube. What do we What do we have tonight? Well, for one, we have a kick ass studio. We do. We do. This is the debut. If you guys want to have your toast, this is the yeah. uh, oh to Karen and Sam are the drinkers. Cheers. Cheers. In fact, I think one of the segments we will have in the future is, um, you know, within. The 15 minutes of the show, you know, Karen should should make a cocktail or, or something. <laughs> oh, give, give, there you go. That that will give some kind of a nostalgic name. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah, like Karen's own drink. Yeah, yeah. I that's, love that. That's that's good, good idea, good. sir. Mm. For a guy who does not drink. I know. No. He's got all the drink ideas. He no, does. One, one of the names I'm going to give you is I want you to make the evil Knievel. <laughs> okay, I Uh-oh. will make an and, evil Knievel. And think what that would be like. Oh, I know what it's going to have I'm in it. I'm scared. It's gonna okay. be You're dangerous. gonna have to drink but it. It's though. gotta it's gotta be cool. It's gotta co- <laughs> coordinate coordinate with evil Knievel. It's yeah. it's gotta have Oh like, it'll it'll have like it. like he he jumped over to Snake River Canyon mm-hmm. in his sky cycle. So something with snakes, some kind of no, liquor I, that, that has a, Oh a, a I could put like a, a little rubber name. I could put a little rubber no, no. snake in the as or, a garnish. Or, or, or something. He jumped <laughs> over the fountains at Caesar's Palace, so there might have to be some kind of uh, seltzer involved. You, right. you you just you know incorporate are you going to drink it? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. hey, can we take a quick second I to do. talk about the guests that are coming up in future episodes? We can. We All can. Right. And and I'd also like to touch base on what we did the, over, over the weekend. Yes. Yeah, good as, times. As well. So, uh, guys, I don't know about you, but I am an immense, immense Friday the 13th fan. And I am beyond stoked to talk with Lauren Marie Taylor, who plays the victim named Vicky in Friday the 13th Part 2. Also, we got an awesome guest coming up as well by the name of June Ambrose. She is one of the top stylists in the world. And funny story, I used to be her kid's teacher, so she owes me one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's coming up and I am really psyched. Yeah. That's awesome. I I was trying to see, check my emails real quick to see the, the, the latest from... Uh, from um, it's Vicky Taylor. We have a. Oh, she's coming. She's yeah, in. She, she is. She Lauren Taylor. Mm-hmm. Vicky's, right. Vicky's her, her name. character in Friday Thirteen Part Two. Yeah. yeah, Lauren. Lauren Taylor. She will be here. Uh, we're we're doing that next week. She's calling in at seven. At seven, I'll be here. Right yeah. here, you, you'll be here. But what about this week, Dan Morrow? Okay. <laughs> this week we're trying to gain some female. This, this viewers. week we're trying to get the female viewers. Ladies, where are you at? And 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 we're giving some props to to the beautiful Karen. We're we're gonna do a segment. This is all about those heartthrobs of the seventies, eighties, and nineties. Okay, I don't know what they have on their lists. I can comment on that. I don't have a list, but Dan I doesn't I just have a know list as usual. Off the top of my head, I can <laughs> I throw things I together. Dan doesn't have a list. He's not. Mm-hmm. He he came unprepared. Well, to meanwhile, class. I put my heart and soul yeah. into finding the five hunkiest dudes. Of you my limited childhood. it to five. I but that's because you're a man. I have I have honorable mentions. There were yeah. a lot of people I was thinking of, Karen. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I have I holy have a, cow. I have a very long list. Woo! But I don't have to I don't have to say on the dance like Can I can I ask you a can, uh, question, Karen? Sure you can. So, I'm sure for Dan and I when we first became privy to these uh these hunks of the 70s through 90s like yes. it was probably a different experience for us than it was for someone like you yes. do you actually remember 
the first time you saw one of these guys and thought to yourself, well, what did Ooh, you think so to yourself? Cute. Oh, they're so cute. Like, of course, you know, I, I also had older brothers. So there were boys at my house all the time. So I don't know. I just. She's really trying to be careful what she's saying. I am trying to be me. careful what I say in front of Dan. Don't make no, him jelly. You, you, yeah. for, for, look, look at the Beatles, for example. I okay, was never. They, they started as, as just a band that got the girls going crazy. And every guy watching that, every kid watching that said, that's what I want to do. Yeah. And you ask any musician who watched that original Ed Sullivan show saying, I want to play guitar. I want to have girls screaming and, and stuff. And you, you have the guys have a certain bro crush on the heartthrobs where those are the guys sometimes that that they would like to be that's a hard sometimes because because again i had mm -hmm. brothers and they would go the opposite way bro let me tell you something when i would trash them when i was younger and prettier (laughs) prettier there was like this there was there was a time (laughs) when some fr- oh i've never admitted this to anyone it's oh okay go ahead you can tell us sam <laughs> it's they, just us and our viewers i feel like it's gonna stick if i say it, it no. but at one point in time be the, between the ages of about 17 to 19 yeah people used to call me a backstreet boy oh and you know Did what's you sad though Did they said sing? it was because i looked like one of them but it turns out it was like the one that no one cared about <laughs> <laughs> Which Howie. one was it? Howie. 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 Everyone said I look like uh, Howie. I don't think you look like Howie at all. Well, this was 20 years ago, <laughs> yeah. you know. But um, they are definitely not on my list, and nor did I ever want to be like the Backstreet Boys. No, no, I, none of the Backstreet Boys are on my list either. You'll be happy to know. High five to that. Okay. Yeah. Well, before we get into it, we, we're already into the show about six minutes, seven minutes in. <laughs> and before we get into it, you mentioned some of the future guests we're going to have, and, and we're working on a really good roster of just just good subjects if we don't have guests, and just I'm just trying to find the most unique guests that we can get, you know, stuff, stuff that will compel you, stuff that even if you are familiar with these guests, we'd like to ask them the different questions than, than, than just the normal than the, than the normal yeah. exactly and they seem to have a good time when they're on the show they do you know we have a good dynamic uh, but we. We had a weekend, Sam. I, I, you told me to come see you at this. Uh, the Art, Art Walk. Walk in, in Art Walk in Smithville. Man, I was all over the place, was I not? Um, you, you, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I know I invited you guys. Mm-hmm. I saw you there. Yeah, we saw you. That was a really good time, those five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we saw you. Let me explain to the listener that while I'm hosting a live show, I'm speaking to dozens of people while I have four little children following Following. me around. (laughs) Or Dan Morrow. (laughs) Or Dan Morrow, the biggest child of them all. By the way, my kids love you, dude. They love Dan Morrow. They They love love, Dan Morrow. And you bought them some stickers. I did. Yeah. They love you. They're great. They're great kids. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks. I like them. Adorable kids. I like them. Oh, my God. Sora's got my heart now. He's a little partial. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Sora. uh, So I have three boys, and then I have this little warrior princess. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, my boys, we're training already. We are not letting a boy step foot in our house, besides all the students. But here's the thing. I get to see all of Sora's classmates, so I'm already. You're already like. Hmm. Picking the ones. This yeah. one's. You didn't no. raise your hand, kid. Yeah. I'm not liking no. that. Yeah. You know? Good luck no. with that, Sam. Good Thanks. luck with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to, if I had to explain Sam at this festival, for those of you who've seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> and Jack Skellington just discovers the Christmas world, and he's, What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> totally. What's this? Oh. Yes. Oh, what's this? He'll run all the way down there. Yes. Hey, guys, come here. Yes. Come here. We get there. Oh, look. <laughs> what's this? Karen, Dan, Dan, Karen, over here. Over here. <laughs> was it was it lame? No. 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 Okay. No, no I it's just, excited. No, you and were Lisa, very excited. Lisa turned the car. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and all the dude, all the kids are following. There's glow mania. A dude who makes pro wrestling glow in the dark stuff. There was like 3D art of horror movies things. There was a punk rock band play there's so much going on mike spagnola's there south jersey jason is there shout out to him he's yeah, been listening to the show he's he's a new fan and, and and he's been following us now and let's give him some props and this this is a whole it's 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 like a cosplay thing but i didn't know that they had it in jersey 
you know, but obviously these groups are all over the place. And when they have like a big comic con or, or, or something where they can all go, they'll do that. But in the meantime, the uh, authenticity that they put into their costume, mm. we, we had three Jasons. We had Jason goes to hell, Jason three. And I want to say video game, Jason, but I have, uh, I have a few pictures. And if you could send them to me, I can, I can put them like, the, the audience will see that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So I'll, I'll incorporate those. Shout out to you, things. South Jersey Jason. You hooked us up with our guests. Like, mm-hmm. you're just the man, brother. Yeah, so so we give him some props. But what? I have a bad feeling we're losing the female listeners as we speak about this. So let's get into them pretty boys. <laughs> let's start with Karen. Let's, let's just, you start. You take the show. You take the reins of the show right oh, now. Uh, really? What do we have? Okay. We, do you have uh, the 70s? My, she yeah, broke it down to 70s, 80s. I broke 80s. it down 70s, 80s, 90s. You go through and them all. And most of mine will... are TV. They really are, most of them. But, um, but the first one can kind of be... Uh, TV and music, but okay. it's Davy Jones. Davy oh. Jones from the 1960s, The Monkees. Monkees, but, right? Yeah. But, but in the 70s, he was on The Brady Bunch. Yeah, him Marsha. And, him and Desi Arnaz. Do you, know the, do you know the episode of The Brady Bunch? Is that the one where she gets hit with the football? No. no. Okay. That's the only no. one I know. So. Okay, um. okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it's all right, Sam. It's okay. Teach yeah. me. Okay. Enlighten me. Here's an episode of The Brady Bunch that... I first seen it in this episode, but I think it was just a a perfect plot that has been used in all kind of episodes. Marsha has to be in charge of the prom and she needs to get a guest for the prom. She also is a a member of the Davy Jones fan club Mm -hmm. and she asked for Davy Jones to come to the prom. Obviously, he's a big star. He can't come to the prom and she does everything she can to try to get into the um, studio or anywhere he is to contact Davy Jones. Now, Marsha is very literal. Okay, so Davy Jones sent a letter. If you ever need anything in any way, you know, thank you for being a Dude, friend. That is a great impression. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and and Marsha's like, look, he said in his letter, if, if I needed him in any way, he would come and help me. So she goes into the studio and she, she gets close to him. Close enough to hear him record a song. Girl, yes, look what you've, you've done, done to me. me. Okay. This so, is so good. I'm telling you, girl, yeah. I'm making the morning. Yeah. So <laughs> the the microphone, the talkback mic is still on in the studio. And Davy's manager saying, girl, get out of here. You're, you're just a crazy kid. And she's like, but Davy promised me in my, in the, in my fan club letter. And Davy Jones is hearing this over the earphones. So he actually surprises Marsha and shows uh, up at her house and she gives him a kiss on the cheek and says, I'll be your date for the prom. And, you know, she gives him a kiss. He's oh, how about the flip side? And <laughs> oh. she gives him another kiss. And he was it, a short guy, right? He was he, pretty yeah, tiny. He was small. Well, he was very small and he was a jockey. He was a professional horse jockey i heard was he professional or did he pursue no he was a professional he jockey. Pro. yeah he, he actually won races and stuff uh doing that and he had a horse farm actually i think wow. he had stables and he lived about an hour and a half away in pennsylvania <sighs> and i found out like within two months he's after, making fun be- of march before but he died no <laughs> He was so stalking him. I, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He passed away a few years ago, right? A while ago. Yeah. So, Karen, yes. did you? Were you crushing on Davy Jones? Oh yeah, I thought he was cute. I had a I had a tote bag that said Davy Jones locker. Did you? Oh, I did. Do you find that your little uh, teenage crushes? Do you? Is it different when you're crushing on a musician than an actor, or is it now? Just, it is. Dun dun dun. No, not really. I I have to say, I've never been the type to, like, I would never wait overnight to get concert tickets or to the, mm. I, that just was never me. I, you know, so it's probably b- basically the same. Okay. Like, yeah. I mean, but then you get those girls that just like, ah! yeah, I, I'm not like they crying faint. and fainting. And no, I, I've cool. actually met a couple of, you know. And how'd you handle it? I did. I. I felt like a little bit of a stalker, but like, <laughs> I'm sure but, they're used to it. Like, well, the monkeys had a resurgence from MTV they, in, in 1983 and 84. 
or uh, I think 84, 85, 86, around there, uh, MTV started playing the monkey episodes all over again. And the monkeys got back together. They had a hit called That Was Then, This Is Now. <laughs> and they toured. Oh. And it was just going to be for like, it was called the Happy Together Tour. And it was featuring the monkeys, Herman's Hermits, Gary Puckett in the Union Gap, and the Grassroots. And it was called the Happy Together Tour. And they expected to just do this for the summer. And it just blew up to the point of Beatlemania all over again. Mm. And I went to two of their shows in Atlantic City. And they, they, they had to stop the show several times, and, and security guards had to get up to just shut the people <laughs> down. They, they were, it was Beatlemania. Crazy. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, even though they were like 15, 20 years older than people still. It was still Davy. It was still What Mickey is it? What Peter. is it about Davy Jones that, that does it for you? I mean, he's. He's a good. He was a good-looking guy. I, uh, to me, that's what it was. And he nothing was fun- with the well, charm. The, and, he, or... and and I do remember the monkeys. He was funny. Like it, it was. Just, I really funny. liked the monkeys. He was very too, funny. He was so. my first introduction to a British accent. Oh, because when I was little, the reruns would come on, mm-hmm. and he he ta- he sounded strange, <laughs> and I never understood it because up until that moment, I never heard a British accent. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, then I, there's then there's uh, uh, a guy named. Uh, Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Oh, Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Mm-hmm. Now, see, you're thinking like because it's the '70s, so I'm young. I'm mm-hmm. young, so How it's probably gonna be. Well, I in was born 70s. in '73, okay. so, so yeah, just a seven year old, yeah, barely yeah. like. Yeah. So, so Scott Bayo was. He was. I see that your life. '80s list and your '90s My list 80s are much and 90s longer. Are much longer because in the '70s I was. Yeah, really young. it's a little young. It's when, like, when does it happen? That's a good question. For you, when did it happen when you first saw one of these guys? It was and- probably like, <laughs> probably like fifth or sixth, sixth grade, which scares the bejesus out of me because now my youngest is uh, yeah is uh-uh. starting to get that you know keep her away from <laughs> the beebs. <laughs> Don't let her watch no, the beebs. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so Scott Bayo, he was mm-hmm. from, he played Chachi on Happy Days, yep. which was Fonzie's nephew. Are you, are you familiar with the Fonz? Of course, okay. man. He's one of my okay, favorite well, Jews. Fonz had... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so Fonzie had a nephew. His nephew was Spike. And this kid, Spike, it's kind of like... If you knew Happy Days, you know that it's Mr. Cunningham, Mrs. Cunningham, Richie, and Joni. Yeah. But there was Chet. Yeah, the oldest. There was an older brother who was in like who, maybe two who, pilots. Yeah, and then he never and then showed just, up again. We never saw him again. <laughs> he disappeared. Okay. Well, the same thing kind of happened with Fonzie's relatives. I don't really, I forget the backstory, but we had Spike, and he was more like a, hey, you know, this little Joe Pesci kind of character, you know, hey, Fonzie, and he dressed like Fonzie. He was like a little Fonz. And then came, and then they decided to go with Scott Bayo, who was Chachi, and and his entrance into any episode was always the classic, because they were filmed in a live audience, right? So the door would open, hey Fonz, and you hear the girls screaming for like a half hour, and they got to stand in this weird tableau. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Wait for them to die down, and then you can say your lines. Yeah. I was so wondering funny. if Richie'd be cool to go yeah. with him. <laughs> I know it's so funny. By the way, did you know? You know what expression comes from uh, from Happy Days? Uh, the 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 saying, um, "Oh fart." Oh yes, <laughs> jump the shark. Yeah, you knew that. Yeah, because I did literally, not know that. the yeah. reason but Dan why would know that because he knows all the useless back, information. Back back during the time of of you had Evil Knievel back in the seventies. So what Fonzie would do every now and then they would have a two part episode. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, that. the first thing he did was he jumped a, 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 a stack of trash cans on his motorcycle, yeah. and it was always what could Fonzie do next. Yeah. So he jumped these. Motor, uh, this, uh, these trash cans crashed and broke his leg or something and then became fine but that was like early early on later on they're just trying to find stories and stories so then they all go to LA they all go to Hollywood and, and hang out there for a little bit and Fonzie of course meets the bad guys from Hollywood and then they challenge him into something and he's like you know what I'm going to do so he gets a surf, uh, he gets um, water skis, and he jumps the shark. Now they're, now they're milking off the success of Jaws. The first jump was off of Evil Knievel, and he may have had a few other jumps, and then came 
the shark. But am I wrong in saying that that specific episode became the downfall of Happy Days? It wasn't the downfall, but it, it what it did was cemented in pop culture that you're you're reaching so hard for plot. Just be right. right to okay. something. Right. So, Send them so to space. now whenever a show <laughs> has, you know, oh the this couple's having the child now, or, or the, mm-hmm. they get too so ridiculous, mm. right. they jump the jump shark. Jump the shark. Love there it. Love it. Who's next? All right. We're still sticking with 70s, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just go down your list. Leaf Garrett. Leif. <laughs> I said that. Leif Garrett. Man, Leif. I don't know. Long Pe- Girls love Leaf Garrett. Leif. Because he was made sorry. for dancing. He was... <laughs> He was. I'm sorry. Didn't he like become a was. druggie? Oh big yeah, time? he didn't. He, he had didn't, a hard time. He, he had, had a hard time. time. He was. Yeah. A, he was in he a car a accident that killed his friend. Yeah, he had mm. a hard time. But in the 70s, good looking man. Man, the, these teen idols a lot of times doesn't end up so good for them. Yeah. I mean, where do you go from there? You go from all the girls love you. You're making the money. Everyone loves you, and then it fizzles out. Yeah. And then what? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, next on my list is David Cassidy. David Cassidy. Do you who? know who David Cassidy is? Who? David Cassidy. I guess you never who? watched The Partridge Family. No, no, I've heard <laughs> of oh such God. a show, but a yeah. little bit before yeah, my time. see? David Cassidy. Let's see this gentleman. Is... Well, you have to show him you, a picture. You, oh, there he is. yes. I know this guy. Any more of a heartthrob than David Look Cassidy. Look at that yeah. smile. Yeah, he was a pretty boy. He was. He was a pretty boy. He wanted to be a rocker. Yeah. And he wound up being able to kind of seg- segue that career because he, he got his his uh, stepmother is Shirley Jones. Shirley Jones. And his father is Jack Cassidy. He's like, I don't Jack know. Jack Cassidy are. is a, is a <laughs> classic uh, film actor. And Jack Cassidy actually said, look, um, you either have it or you don't. And you got it. Mm. You know, David Cassidy had the looks. He had he had the coolest singing voice. Sorry. Really? Oh my God, his voice was awesome. It was just amazing. It was a little raspy. It was just very cool. Um, and he would do live shows. He seems like this I'm guy. He I'm looks, intrigued. He looks like a Backstreet Boy. I'm, I'm, I'm a little I'm shocked. He, he, he's amazing. He <laughs> got now the whole concept of the Partridge Family. They were inspired by a real singing family called the Cowsills. We've spoken about the cow cells. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So rather than get the cow cells and actually do a TV show with them, they weren't professional actors. So they got these actors. And you had David Cassidy. He wound up being a teen heartthrob. And because it was a concept of a family that made music, they made albums. And he would tour. And he did solo tours. And Just his name on the yeah, record? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, got, it, it just got to him because he didn't want it. And, and oh. one of his fans got killed. During a show, how uh, a little girl just just everyone just <gasps> rushed to the uh, she got smushed. Yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. And and so what did that do to him? It just it just messed him up because it wasn't what he wanted. You know, he, he was doing these pop songs that weren't his. He was a Zeppelin guy. He loved the heavy. You know, stuff. some people do jobs like they'll work at the store or whatever, and it's a job they don't like, and they go to it every day. But to <laughs> have be a teen idol and not want to be doing that right that is just a whole well, different level it, who were... can understand how what that's like yeah no it, it, the pressure just got to him and it was it was just crazy yeah to perform every time make it good mm-hmm. like you know always got to be happy always got to be smiley you know that's uh mm-hmm. it's not normal no yeah so are, are we moving to the yep, 80s moving on. no we can, we're one more we got one, one more. more of the 70s and he was a little older so it wasn't like mine but mm-hmm. he was a very good looking man and it was andy gibb andy gibb who? loved andy gibb who andy gibb was mm-hmm. a the singer B-G's. oh i've heard of the Bee Gees. The well they had the a fourth gibb brother brothers. named andy, andy and he did his own thing yeah oh mm-hmm. yeah yeah good looking guy good very looking good guy. guy yeah yep mm-hmm. good looking guy mm-hmm. um and that's it for your 70s that's it for my 70s no so john travolta have- no, I didn't find John Travolta good really? looking. Really? I'm sorry. I no, know. No, Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy was a good looking guy. He was. All right. Don't hate on our All list, bro. Right. No, Don't no. You're you going to love I, my I list. I really never, I know a lot of people thought John Travolta was like, oh my gosh, he's so sexy. And I, well, first of all, it was the 70s, so I wasn't thinking that at all. Mm-hmm. But I. I <laughs> <laughs> There's so much I have to say about this, but I'm going to wait till my top five hunks. Okay. okay. 80s, 
you know, number one for me, Mr. Oh. Rob Lowe. Oh, yes. how the hell? Yo, can so, you tell, how the hell does he still look he looks b -b 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 beautiful? Amazing. amazing. I mean, what I the heck? He I doesn't know. make sense. He no. intermittent fasts. Yeah, that, that oh, does it. I, I, I do know that. That does it. Dude, I know a lot of people who fast, fast and they, and they do don't look, not like, Rob look Lowe. like Rob Lowe. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. no, that man. And he's a good guy. He's just normal. I was not guy. allowed to have posters in my room. I wasn't allowed to. Well, I let's put it this way. I wasn't allowed to hang them on my wall. My 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 parents. Sorry, mom, dad, love you, but they were weird like that. Mm. Like they wouldn't let me put the holes in the wall. So on my closet doors, I would stick the tape and I would put <laughs> posters. And Rob Lowe was up there. Can I ask you something? Yes. Now I have. I've, this gives a whole new meaning to out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> jokes and jokes. I have no beef with this pick, but I no. do have yeah. a question. Yes. Didn't he get like busted for hooking up with some really young girls? I don't know. I just thought he was cute. Okay. <laughs> I just thought he was cute. A good and looking he, I, man. He probably did. There was videotape. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Like yeah. a 16 year old girl. Yeah. I first found out about Rob Lowe with Tommy Boy. Okay. That was my <laughs> first introduction. And then, like, you know, since then, you look at the pictures then, you see the pictures now. It's he like, looks really good. What's a secret, bro? Yeah. He's good. Yeah. He's good. But, uh, uh, you know, he probably. He probably is like most of Hollywood and has had injections and. No, I would hope not. You um, think so? I'm I think most of them. He's got do. a really good interview, full length interview on Rogan, and I, I'll have to listen. I to listen it again, to it. He talks about us. You know, I listened to it. He was, and and that was the first time I really got to hear him talk. He's got a few audio books too, that, which are good that he reads. Cool. Yeah, when I heard him on Rogan, he was definitely a cool guy, mm -hmm. like a guy you'd want to chill with. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't expecting that well, at all. And like, I was like, wow, Rob Lowe is down to earth and cool. And he's, he's amazing in the West Wing. I, I don't like television shows. I hate television shows, but I loved the West Wing. Here's, and, a, here's another one yeah. that, didn't, that does not age. John Stamos. Right, yeah. Yeah, he does not age either, Uncle does he? Uncle Jesse. He's Good looking man. Great yeah. hair. He has great hair. The rock star of the full house. Yes. You know what? You know what? I saw a, a behind a documentary on him, an expose on him. It was kind of like a behind the music, but it, mm -hmm. it was just more just about him. His life is so good that the only thing they can find that was bad about it is that his sister had cancer. Oh. Not him. Right. Because his life was so good. Right. Like he's he doesn't have bad days, this guy. He would grow up listening to the Beach Boys. Next thing you know, he's yeah. the drummer for, for the, the Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. What? Yeah. Yeah, during the Kokomo era yeah. and stuff. He's in the video of Kokomo. Uh, the Beach Boys uh, were on uh, Full House. They used to come on Full House yeah. all the time because he was friends with them. Yeah. You don't remember this? Sam was is born blown. in 83. Yeah. So this is where we go from here. So. Yeah. There's a lot that he missed out. I'm learning so much. So much. Sure. All right. Patrick Swayze. Patrick oh, Swayze. Oh, yes. Now he we're did. talking. Right? Patrick oh, Swayze. We're talking point break. Yeah. We're talking where he kicks some butt. We're in Dalton. Wait, wait, wait. What's the movie I'm thinking Roadhouse. of? Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah. Roadhouse. Mm -hmm. Pain don't hurt. <laughs> Pain don't hurt. Whenever I would tell someone my, my kid's name, because my, my youngest is Dalton, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Oh, man. He kicks some ass in that ridiculous movie. He's like 130 pounds and just. I was, dudes I was in thinking the more face. of the dirty dancing, but you know. <laughs> oh, dude. I got down with dirty dancing and I got yeah. down with ghosts. Yeah. I am a Patrick Swayze fan. Yeah. I think the best segment I've ever seen with him is him and Chris Farley auditioning. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Chippendales <gasps> for um, on I Saturday Night about Live. That. Yes. The, yes. Yeah. Oh my God, people! If you have not witnessed this yeah. YouTube, Patrick Swayze, Chris Farley auditioning for Chippendales, yeah. you will thank <laughs> the Nostalgia okay. Cafe. Yes. Oh my God, one. that was good. All right, now in a in a nerdy kind of way, we have Michael J. Fox because that was mm -hmm. uh, Family Ties. Mm -hmm. right? It was funny because yeah. as Michael J. Fox aged, and he back looked to the more future. like David Cassidy. Yeah, yeah. Well, he feathered the hair, and, and and he had the same little raspy voice. Yeah. Loved Michael J. Fox. What do you like yeah. about Michael J. Fox? I, I, he was a cute kid. I mean, well, cute kid. He was pr probably. Well, let, a, let's a let's put it this way. Let's put it this this way. When they did Back to the Future, okay, they filmed the whole movie with Eric Stoltz. Yeah, he was. Sorry, what? Yeah, okay. he. That's who. 
played Michael J. Fox. If you ever Fox saw the film, uh, what was this? So, uh, Pretty in Pink? No. Wait, are you telling kind of me one. they filmed an entire Back to the Future with a different actor? Yeah. <gasps> with Eric Stoltz. Oh, and it just was not working. Was he, he was leading it. It was either some He kind was of with Doc. All the other actors, too. They were all in it. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. And there is a... Um, there's actually one segment where, like, he's still in the movie. It's just you just see like part of his face. Please or show me in, that. Well, you have to show me movie. a video. It's it's a scene with with Biff and stuff, but but he's yeah. uh, you don't see his his whole face. I really need my glasses. Yeah, I'm so curious about how he feels now with well, the immense success. Well, the success. thing is, Eric Eric Stoltz was just, according to the producers, he was just. Taken in, he he was just being a whole All different character. All I could character. think of was mask. A, a right. little more. Um, Third time I've heard mask reference this mm-hmm. week. Really? Just saying, yeah. Really? He, he he was a little more uh, uh, more of like a. Uh, he was in some kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. But what he had a totally different take on he, the. He Marty had a McFly totally character. different take on it, and they wanted Michael J. Fox, and he was contracted to do Family Ties, so this kid. He just gets signed for this television show, and now they want him in this film. And he had already done Teen Wolf, and when he was doing Teen Wolf, which was a really fun movie, love that movie. Um, they were filming in the same locations as the scouting people were looking for Back to the Future spots to film in in these little suburbs of L.A. So, just by chance, he's like, "Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're working on like a Spielberg Zemeckis film." He's like, "Wow, I wish I was doing that." And the next thing he knows, he's doing that. He would film Family Ties, wow, and then drive. You know, he he'd sleep on the way to the the next set, and just be up and just. They that's why they did a lot of night stuff as well. Oh yeah, a lot of it's filmed at night, yeah. right? And then a lot of stuff on sets. So fun uh, fact: yeah. this one's for you, Karen. Okay. You ever see Teen Wolf? Yes. Do you know that you can see a penis in Teen Wolf? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Some dude, some yeah. extra. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. When the you, basketball team wins. Watch your the martini. Very, the, sorry. <laughs> oh, my the, God. Yes, I'm getting way too yeah. excited yeah. about this. I know. <laughs> Listen, yeah. So basketball scene, game's over. People in the Everyone bleachers are going crazy. Oh. But one dude in the bleachers. He's staying in the bleachers and he takes it out. He oh, just nah. takes it out for the world to see. Oh, my goodness. And no, they, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Penis yeah. and Teen Wolf. Check it there out. There you people. go. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Um, okay. so, so that's just a positive indication of just the charm that Michael J. Fox has. It was like they decided, oh, my God, he's got something. And we're willing to redo the whole film. Wow! And that—that that was my point. It's good move. Of just you know, what is it about Michael J. Fox? So it, likable. Right exactly. So likable. Exactly. Yeah. So that was a pretty good pick, right? No, I that think. Pick. I mean, I'm not going to say he is or isn't on my top five, but I'm going to say that's a great pick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about uh, Corey Haim? Didn't he yes. die of a drug yes. overdose? He did. He did. But he, he was did. a good-looking kid. He was. <laughs> And and him and Corey Feldman. He's like, I didn't. I, I'm not liking their character. I'm liking them. Uh, like, yeah. I'm liking the way they look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like a, hey, 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 Karen. Yeah. You're like a bad boy. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, just uh, nice rock I don't stars. Know. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure at one point I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um. Then we have, and I don't know if either one of you will know who this is. But oh. This is like, I don't know, this is a reach, but I don't think I'm going to keep this just one. Just say it. She's no, just scratching it out I without even saying up, it. But Brian Bloom. Who? Do you remember Brian Bloom? I know that name. I know Orlando Bloom. No, nope, Brian Bloom. You can Google him and see if you both think that he is. What was he, he was, on? He was mainly on uh, Soap Opera. Okay. Yeah. So that's oh, probably see. why you guys wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah. Not yeah. Really I remember so. him. Yeah. Brian Bloom. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. I have nothing to say about. Oh, look at those eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at those dreamy eyes. All right. I'm fine okay. with that. Whatever. All right. All right. Brian Bloom. All right. Shout how about, out. How about uh, C. Thomas Howell? C. Thomas Howell was in E. T. Yeah. And uh, Soul Man. Did you ever see Soul Man? No. It couldn't be filmed today, actually. 
but um, <laughs> it's not. But it was just it's not PC. Someone wearing no. blackface, or well, in order to get into a college, he he has to be a minority and takes all these tanning pills. It is. It was yeah. It's blackface. Yeah. Yeah. I totally guessed that, but yeah. holy yeah. cow! Yeah. So it's not PC. Yeah, but it's it's a charming movie because then he's been this rich kid, but he wasn't allowed any money f- to go to college, and he figures out a way to get through the back door if he fakes and pretends that he's a minority, but then he suffers as a minority. He's falsely arrested. He's, oh, he's oh, that sounds yeah. great. He deals like with race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and James Earl Jones is in it, and uh, he plays one of the professors, but uh, C. Thomas Howe was, in, um, I think his first big break was his pony boy in The yeah. Outsiders. In The Outsiders. Outsiders was like a huge one for a lot of people, yes. I believe. They were yes. all in there. Emilio Estevez, yeah. Rob Lowe, Patrick yeah. Swayze. Yeah. yeah. Who would have thought? Matt Dillon. But can we just can we just talk about that name for a second? C. C. Thomas Howe. C. Thomas Howe. It sounds like a, yeah. the title of one of the kids' book I would have read to my yeah. students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah, it's the, crazy. Yep. That's all I have to say about that. I used to just... My only pick of with him as an actor was uh, there's a scene, a famous scene in E.T., where Elliot shouts out to everybody, quiet. I remember that. And the camera just goes on Elliot, but you could see like, see Thomas Howell's face. And Elliot's like, He was one no. of the friends. He says, no one go out there. And as he's doing it, see Thomas Howell's doing this. Like, he's <laughs> mouthing lipping, he's lipping the, the line. He's mouthing the line. I love it when that happens. You know, Will Smith uh, has been caught doing that a million times on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Because he memorized everyone's, everyone's lines. lines. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all all right. right. And the grand finale of the 80s no, is... Guess, what was the one you more. crossed out? No, I'm not going to say What was the it. one you crossed nope, out? Nope, I'm not going to say it because nobody's going to know who it is. It's Joe Pesci. No, because it was from he was from The Young and the Restless. The listeners will know. Okay, Michael Damien. Michael Damien. Michael Damien. I love you know, no. Michael Damien. <laughs> now who that is. But he, he had, was in The Young and the Restless and he, he was actually a singer. Wound up with one hit song with that was from a Corey Haim movie. Yeah. License to Drive. No, no. Um... Oh. I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. Oh my god! It was him and Corey Feldman wanted to be the next Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. They want to be a comedy duo, so mm. they would try to do these films together. One was Licensed to Drive. The other one was um, oh, I totally forget. Not Rock Rock On. Michael Damien did Rock On for that, yeah. but it was um, David S. Essex was the original artist that did that song. And Michael Damien did it as, as a cover. All right. But, well, now um, I know about Michael Damien. Yeah. I almost yeah. didn't because of Karen. Still looking for That's the him. Oh, let's see this guy. Jean, baby That's queen. I was yeah. trying to get him, actually, Look at that as hair. a guest. Yeah. yeah. Good he had guy. good hair. Yeah. He had good hair. If he'll be a guest, yeah. I'll like him. Yeah. There see, you can't, you can't omit okay. stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, next on the list is... He, <laughs> what you've written is final, Karen. That's right. Is Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. From uh, Dawson's Creek, right? No. Jason no. Bateman. From Silver Spoons. From S- there was a TV show called Silver Spoons on NBC on Saturday nights, and it starred Ricky, Ricky Schroeder. Ricky Schroeder, which he wasn't on my list, but he was all right. He was cute. I, I mean, didn't like not him. Not worthy. And, yeah, I didn't yeah. like, and I didn't like Jason Bateman either. Like These Jason were Bateman. just two spoiled kids that lived, that... that had this now mansion Ozark. with a railroad track you know and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. in Ozark. Oh, he was and a teen it, idol. I didn't know that. It wasn't until maybe 15 years ago when, when Bateman started to get back on the circuit and stuff that I really respe- respected him. Like, oh my God, he's, he's killing it. Yeah. He was on Arrested Development. He's a good actor. He's a yeah. great actor. Yeah. You know, but um, I guess I was just a jealous kid at that time. Yes. You know? Like, I didn't get Yes. It. Yeah, and I just thought that this kid was conceited. Mm. I, 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 I don't know who I didn't like more, Ricky Schroeder. Because I loved Ricky Schroeder in, in a movie called The Champ, where he was this little kid. Yeah. With uh, And Ryan O'Neal was a boxer. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I didn't like him in Silver Spoons, but I wanted to be him mm. in Silver Spoons. He had every arcade machine yes, in the house. Yes, because he was, ri- he, and they had he was a, a rich kid. track. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, and then the last one is, and and it was just purely because I thought he was cute because he was on Growing Pains, and it was Kirk Cameron. I think you can't have an 80s list. Without Kirk Cameron on it. The 80s belonged to Bon Jovi. 80s music belonged to Bon Jovi. 80s pop idols were Bon Jovi. 80s teen heartthrobs belonged to Kirk Cameron. 
Oh, yeah, that dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone. See, that's the kind of guy it's like, how can you not like that guy? Yeah. Look at that guy. Look well, at that smile. Well, yeah. he got very religious. Yes, that's why I said. Like, and it got to the point he, where they would have actresses on the show. And if one of them happened to have done a Playboy shot or something, he wouldn't, he want, wouldn't them, want them on the oh, show. Oh, on the show. He, he went yeah. deep into yeah. his religion. Yeah. yeah. Did he ever do like religious movies or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he did. He's like, that, he's that's his like, whole research. Yes. And he does all that kind of stuff. Wow. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, good for him. And, and his sister, of course, Candace, Candace Cameron, Cameron, is uh, from Full House. Full House. And, okay. Uh, Fuller House. Yes. Let's now we're into the nineties. We're into the nineties. Did, did she? Did she? Do you think she left off anyone? Well, yeah, from but the 80s, 80s. I, there's he people has them on his for list. one. You know what? Can we wait till my list because mm -hmm. I have I have some words to say to you, Karen. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sure I left people off, but I. Because Ralph I mean, Macchio. I have a uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, he was cute, but he wasn't like to me. He didn't do it for you. No. He. He was cute. He was cute, but it wasn't like I, I want to hang a poster of him in my I, room. I can't see anything past the Rob Lowe or the, or the Kirk Camerons. Rob Lowe Rob, is, Lowe Rob Lowe's at my, the top of the yeah. mountain, he was at the, right? He was at the top of my list. Yeah. Sorry to say. 80s, 90s. Yes, he was Damn at the top good of looking my list. Yeah, he was at the top of my list. Okay. So the 90s, and these are in no particular order. I was just writing them as I was going, but uh, Mark Paul Gossler. Saved by the Bell, and, mm -hmm. and again here yes. we're here we're we're going. Nineties is kind of awkward for me as no, well because older, right? I was you know graduating, and then I was a I was a young mom. So, so what happens to I women? Was, I would think I was, Mario Lopez would be. I put Mario, Mario Lopez, Lopez is right second. under yeah. dude. Both of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a them. that's a dream yeah. team. Mario right Lopez there. with the dimples mm, and Zach like Zach was, Morris, such a yeah. bad boy. Like they just were. They, they were cute. So, like I said, mm -hmm. it's an awkward, like, I could still think that, but I don't want to get into that creepy thing either where I'm, like, looking at <sighs> younger, younger guys. Younger, little kids. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, younger okay. guys. Listen, what? listen. Okay, go ahead. These are two guys that have yes. to pick the I best know, men. heartthrob. Well, of listen. <laughs> You act like it's a chore. Wrong. I enjoy yeah, this. I enjoy it too. So she's got to like, just get over have a it. Problem. Just say it. Yes, but I don't ever have a problem. Like as you a woman, I don't like have I'm a problem a telling another woman I that this. I think she's beautiful. And no, but you, you like, say I'm, I'm going to have to pick a woman's list. But you say I'm going to feel weird if, if I'm no, talking to just because of the the age thing. Like I don't want to seem like I was like a you know a twenty something, and I'm looking at. You know, we're fifty some. I'm a sixteen year old boy. Forty somethings, boys, you know? and we gotta like, pick. I'm not yeah. fifty pick something, the, the just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 he's not fifty something no. either. When you wake up in the morning <laughs> and <laughs> say by the okay. bell, so the good. Bell. So now I got rest I got, in peace, uh, I, Screech. Yeah, I got Mark and I got Mario Jeff, off my list. Dustin Diamond, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jared Leto. Jared Leto, the Joker, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, he had he he was in television. He was also. in television originally, and yeah. he was in the show. Um, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm drawing was the it blank. Was Freaks and Geeks? No. Don't Come know. On. Don't know. No, it was a really good show. And eight. Oh my goodness, people are going to be mad at me for not knowing the. Oh mm -hmm. gosh, Karen, take forever with the research. Sorry, I need That's to okay. put glasses. But on seriously, when I do this. Zach Morris, like my so-called life. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was a good show too. Yeah, see, he was in that. And okay. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ryan uh, Philippi. Oh, that how you say it? my sister loved that dude. Yeah, I don't even know what good, he was in. Yeah, he was a good-looking guy. Wait, no, I do know. Wait, was he in? I always uh, got Cruel him, Intentions. I always got him yes. confused with Paul Walker. Really? I would always confuse them too. Okay, Understandably, I guess, Cruel yeah. Intentions made me and yeah. my friends want to do bad things to bad people. Bad things. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not happy with myself after watching. Oh my goodness, you want to do bad things? Yeah, right. that was a very okay. evil movie. And here's another one, and I know a lot of people, including men, will agree with me on this one. Ricky Martin. Come on, do you know who Ricky Martin is? Oh my god. No, Live in the vida yes. loca. Okay. I, I got nervous. I just, no, don't, well, don't come at me like you okay. think I'm one of those men. No, I didn't now, say you were. Look, look, but... I'm totally in touch with my sexuality. I have yes. no problem making a top five. Right. But I would, I would strongly say I got nothing for Ricky Martin. Oh my gosh, he's a good-looking man. He's you sexy. See it? Yeah. Yes. I mean, he's a pretty guy. I mean, he's too pretty though. He's like a, you know. Yeah. Well. I no, think he's the reason we all had to frost our tips on the. On the 
<laughs> I'm to glad see he, if I had tips, tips, I would frost them. But his tips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Nick Lachey. Who? Okay. Nick Lachey. Who? <laughs> Who? Ooh. 98 degrees. You know. Oh, that <laughs> dude. Nick Nick Lachey. Jessica Simpson. Just, Reality show. Yeah. He's a good looking guy. He's a good yeah. looking guy. Jason Priestley. Yes. Now I know we're you're a talking. 90210 guy. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yes. I hope Luke Perry's on that list too. I thought Luke Perry was a good looking guy, I but think I thought Jason, Jason was yeah. I, you're on out team of the Jason. two. Yeah. If out you of the see, two. Jason had. You have to uh, Google like a young Paul Newman. I just Jason was. Jason I think, Priestley did not age like a fine wine. No, I he did not age like a fine wine. No. We're being very judgmental and critical. I'm sorry. Well, dude, no, hold on. When I did my research for this episode and listened yeah. to how other people badmouth, yeah, holy cow, people are mean about these former that stars. That second picture almost really looks like them, like from the side. Yeah, yeah. But no, dude, those so. those guys no, entertain me like just, crazy. Just those good looking those, dudes. He had he had yeah. total. Movie yeah. star look, yeah, yeah, right there. You see the he's got, scene, he's got Paul Newman's eyes and everything. That scene in nine hundred two one zero when they all graduate and they're on the hill and their arms yes. go out. It's yes. like yeah, emotional. Yes. Like I was with you guys throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what else we got? We have Scott Wolf. Do you know who Scott? I just Wolf wrote is? his name down. I just wrote his name down. Yeah, good looking he guy. He played the greatest drunk I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> on, on party of five party of five he has a problem with alcoholism yeah and he nails this but if you ever really? want Ooh, you know what for I, any actor out there no you for any actor out there no. who wants a lesson in how to act real drunk he was phenomenal really yeah Wow. I no, I, I'm really interested in seeing that because yeah, that's not an easy thing shows, to do. Some of these shows I would see I them. Give, I would see them like during a break, like me and the band would be like just sitting on in front of a television and, and stuff and, and we're talking to each other like, Oh my god, this guy's amazing. <laughs> And just just crushing on this guy, he's just he's just amazing. He's, he's a good looking had, guy too. He's huh? a good looking guy. Here's and something Matthew that I, Matthew but Fox, had, I have to say, honorable mention mm-hmm, honorable was mention. also in Party but of here, Five. Now that we're mentioning guy. Scott Wolf, he had a lot of the very same looks as Tom Cruise. Yeah, but I don't. Who is not Tom on the list not for some list. reason? I noticed not, that. I noticed that. Not on my list. Tom in fact, Cruise. some of the biggest I mean, heartthrobs of those generations, I'm not seeing on your list. I, I, that's Scott Wolf. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that I didn't think Tom Cruise was cute. What but about I Brian think Austin Green? Brian Austin Green was he cute. Grew. But he, he grew. Did. Up he did. He's and- not a he's not a bad looking guy, mm-hmm. Brian Austin Green. But I and and going back to Tom Cruise, I think I think because everybody else was like, oh my god, he's so cute. I just thought he was cute, like. Okay, Top Gun. You see him, the volleyball t- favorite scene. Yeah. Well, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer you was know? a good looking guy too. Mm, but, guys. So mm. I guess I like, forgot about I loved, that one. And I you lo- forget no. <laughs> the Hoff. No Hasselhoff. No. And I loved, and I loved like Cocktail mm-hmm. and you know seeing him in those movies. That I loved the movies, but I wasn't like you know he he will make lists. I'm sure, but. He's not like on the top of mine. All right, fair. Um, I'm going to say this with. <laughs> and, uh, There's and only not, two left. And not want to say it in front of Dan, but Zach Efron. <laughs> no, so are you she, for real? I am for she real. She loves blue eyes. <laughs> Zach Efron? Zach Efron. But How is, dare you? Yeah, sorry. Was he 90s? I he was. feel well, like he was see, yesterday. He was, okay. So in the 90s, this is where I said it gets kind of creepy, but he was high school musical. So. Ugh. He was cute, but I thought he was cute, like as a cute mm-hmm. young kid. Now I think he's he's cute because he's, he's an adult. Man. He's yes. a man. He's, he's an a adult. Hot, hot young. He's, he's a, an adult. He's a man. Okay. And then the last one I have is um, I don't know if you guys would know who it is anyway, but it's Shamar Moore. Shamar, <laughs> who's that? Shamar Moore. He's on Criminal Minds now, but yeah. again, used to be on The Young and the Restless. All right. Mm-hmm. What do you think of her list, Dan Morrow? I think it's good. I think she left out some things. Well, don't I forgot don't, Dan Morrow. To, oh yes, I forgot Dan Morrow. But that's a modern day hunk. Yeah, no, 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 I no. forgot Dan Morrow. No, that's, that's a that's, heartthrob of that's today. That's Shamar. That's Shamar. Look at that. <laughs> You've got a wide range of I do. Uh, I, does, I don't do. You? That's Shamar. But now we've heard Karen's list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, now the list 
that really matters. Let's hear the it. one of my top five who Been I think... Been waiting all night for this one. Yes. <laughs> I could not wait to okay. let you guys know who truly were the hunkiest of the hunks. Okay. And Karen, you're going to just disagree with me. But coming in at number five is a booty shaking, grease lightning, John, John Travolta. Travolta. Come on, it's, dude. It's not that I disagree. I, I just... I love them. I just don't think that he was like... I mean, he was a good-looking guy. Oh, don't my God. Wrong. He's the one who put mechanical bulls on the market. <laughs> who else... Puts yeah. mechanic. Look, look. Okay, I got some fun facts. Just a few. Looking this one's crazy. Up. Turned down the role of Forrest Gump. Was offered it. Turned it down. Can you believe that one? No. He joined Scientology in 1975. So that's when things got a little crazy. Right. Uh, he's a licensed pilot. Still yes, close with his co-star from Greece, uh, mm-hmm. Olivia Newton-John. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have she, to say, she's the one that I want. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's the one that I want. You are the one I want. So, uh, Dan, can you do the singing for us from now on? Ooh, <laughs> so, and my Straight favorite, at the drive, yeah. my fa- <laughs> thank you, my favorite John Travolta movies. Uh, the one you can watch over and over again is Grease, obviously. And of course. Pulp Fiction, you can see it over and over again. But I also like Saturday Night Fever. And mm-hmm. as a child, I really enjoyed Look Who's Talking. Uh, that, I was cute, Who's talking. Yeah, that, that was a cute show. That was a cute movie. But it seriously, great. Grease. I mean, come on. Grease. Mm-hmm. Come on. Well, I go back to when he was a sweat hog. And, and he was on Welcome Back, Cotter. Welcome Back, Cotter. And then he did a, a Sunday night movie called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. I've, I've seen that one. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that one. It's an interesting film. Yeah. Yeah. And he had a few hits. He's he's one of those guys that he, he's just been very fortunate to have had the career he had. He, Ooh, he's dude, had, he's also been very unfortunate. I know. Too. Yeah. He's like lost his son. Yeah. The dude, even recently, that Gotti movie he made, he mm-hmm. thought that that was going to be his best performance ever, and he thought it was zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It it was really funny because we have a mutual friend who was in that movie. And we went to the screening. We went to the screening. Tony Luke, I got to give a shout out to Tony Luke. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah. And and um, hey. Tony Luke has a great scene with, with Travolta as as Gotti. Gotti smacking him around and 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 stuff. And um, he invited us to a, to a screening. So we went to the screening. And at the end of the film, Kelly Preston and uh, Travolta came out. And they did a Q and A. That's when you did the Q and A with yes. John. Yes. Yeah. For this movie, yes. for Gotti. Yeah, for Gotti. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It was neat. And we were all hoping that it would do great because you know I I love Tony and and you know if it went great he would get royal to, you know it was just the the residuals. Is the movie as bad as they're making it out to be? I thought yeah, it was, it was good. good. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad. People and hate on that movie. No. Yeah, no, no. We went. Yeah, we. I thought I liked it. Was it was a really good movie. I all right. I don't. Good. Man, people hate that movie. I thought it was good, but. Doesn't matter with his dance moves, with his look, his cleft chin. I think that's the thing. It was the only movie where he didn't dance. Yeah. Oh, that's he a big didn't. thing. You know what the thing is, man? And this is so respectable. He has had so many lows, and I'm talking low of yeah. the lows, but he's so resilient that he always comes back with Pulp Fiction and all mm-hmm. the other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, a lot of people, if they're as down as he was at times, yeah. that'd be game over. But right. he always comes back and rises to the top. Yeah. John Travolta, my number five, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. Coming in at number four, someone you will relate with, just a skateboard riding, cool, lovable dude that you could just be friends with and the, by the name of Michael J. Fox. There you go. Love Michael J. Fox. Hey. How could you not? He was just someone hey. you wanted to be his friend. Yeah. 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 Uh, Alex P. Keaton. Go, hey, I dare you, go anywhere in the world and say Back to the Future and they will repeat to you, that movie is awesome. Universally loved. Listen, Michael J. Fox, a few uh, fun facts on him. The J, you know, you know what it stands for? No. Nothing. He just It's just Michael it. J. Fox. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to be a professional hockey player. Mm. And uh, this is one that everyone obviously knows. He suffers from Parkinson's disease, and he yes. has just raised 
millions and millions of dollars towards research, research. and yeah hopefully god hopefully yes. yeah. um and he's written books about being positive just i mean how mm. could you not love the guy mm -hmm. right yeah so and his chemistry with uh what's his name on back to the future with uh christopher lloyd, christopher lloyd. oh my god the best some of the best chemistry you've ever seen in, uh, on mm -hmm. screen uh and my favorite movies this is the shortest list of favorite movies but it is a strong list in which i say teen wolf and all mm. three of the back to the futures i mean come yeah. on <clears throat> yep. all right number three coming in hot some girls think too hot is my man brad pitt uh, yeah. yeah what no he's a good he is a good looking guy what come on dude he is a good looking guy i'm not giving i'm not saying Did you that see he's that not man a good looking guy Fight club with his yes. shirt off and the <laughs> abs are glistening i'm gonna stop there yes. before i embarrass myself yes yes fight club yes. dude okay he just said his abs are glistening <laughs> they were glowing <laughs> it's and who it's, had it's a hard video. time who it's had a hard time audio. making this list <laughs> don't watch this people listen okay some uh, this is what so i understand like my list is full of cool dudes. Not only are they gorgeous humans, but mm. they are cool dudes. Let me tell you about Brad Pitt. Studied boxing, taekwondo, and grappling for his role in Fight Club. You know I love that. Uh, he was once, before acting, he was a limo driver. He, was ban he is banned from ever entering China. Oh, He's not allowed in China because of a role he played in seven years in Tibet. Oh. And he is trained in various weapons. How cool is this guy? My favorite movies of Brad Pitt. Interview with the Vampire. Fight Club. Troy. Seven. Inglorious Bastards. War, World War Z. And the very, very awesome Snatch. He was very handsome in Interview with a Vampire. Oh, the man. He's yeah. a good looking guy. I'm not saying that he's not. It's just, it's one of those things. I think when every single person thinks mm. that that person, I, I kind of like against the grain. I, 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 I feel you agree, on that. Cause I, I, Chris, uh, Cindy Crawford does nothing. Really? Are you me. a human male? Yeah, Absolutely. She's beautiful. Nothing. I don't see. She it. looks the same. She's now. a very yeah, attractive she's beautiful. woman, but she's, is it the not, mole? You don't no, take the mole? I don't know. It, it could she's, be the mole. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She's beautiful. You don't see it, huh? That doesn't say much for me, Dan. Sorry. It doesn't. What? You don't Shh. find Cindy Crawford beautiful. You look nothing like Cindy Crawford. I'm not saying I do. Saying? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that you don't find her beautiful. So no. what? <laughs> she ain't got shit on you. Kim. Oh, don't yeah, worry. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, no, that was like one of my first crushes. Because so I can't back you on this one. No, dude. Uh, no, I think she's beautiful. But w that's another episode. Cindy yeah. Crawford, yeah, let's make an episode out of that. No, we're making another episode with the women. <gasps> oh, the are we? The females. Yeah. Ladies and the gentlemen, tune into Not that because yeah. I got yeah. some ladies. It was going to be next week, but we have a great interview yeah. next week. So Yeah, so it gives me more time so to remember you, all those yeah. ladies. Yeah. All right, number two I am most excited to tell you about because he, out of all these heartthrobs, he's the one dude that I feel like he could enter this room right now mm -hmm. and we would be best friends in two seconds. Such a cool dude. Loved him since the first movie I saw him in. Bill and Ted. I'm talking about Keanu Reeves. Okay. Why is there silence? I don't see him as a heartthrob, though. <laughs> no. He's totally a heartthrob. My ex-girlfriend no. loved him. Okay. He, okay. All right. I can see it. What? Are you guys crazy? Do you know how many girls love Keanu Reeves? I know. He's I'm a sure nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure. He's a very nice guy. I'm I sure love his motorcycle. Wait, don't give him the nice guy thing. Yeah. I love his motorcycle. I'm sure there are. Well, do you are. know, fun fact, he has had multiple injuries on his motorcycles. <laughs> his first role That's was, why you're not allowed to have one, Dan. <laughs> Hey, dude, listen to your wife right? on that one. Thank Trust you. me. Uh, first role was on a Coke commercial. Um, he almost, <laughs> this one's crazy. He almost named himself Chuck Spadina. Oh, interesting. Don't know the story behind it, but right. I thought that was worth mentioning. Mm -hmm. um, he, no, dude, how freaking cool is this? He gives his part of his salary to the other actors in the films. That he does just because he knows he's getting, getting a overpaid. ton and these More guys than he needs. It. yeah that's awesome More than he needs. how freaking who else does yeah. that and he also published a book of poems this guy is the bomb my favorite movies of keanu reeves bill and ted of course i've been waiting to see the new one with excellent. my cousin most excellent <laughs> i'm waiting because my cousin who i saw bill and ted in theaters with lives far away so when he comes in to see me that's when that's we see right. the new one i also love john wick if it gets mm -hmm. i'll watch that during when i'm working out mm -hmm. matrix speed point break mm -hmm. and the devil's advocate 
Okay. Well, like, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. No, girls love them, dude. Carol yeah. off. That that that's I had this name in the back of my head because I'm not a Cindy Crawford fan. But you think Carol Alt. Carol she Alt. is pretty. Who? Carol. She was Alt. a model. She was a supermodel. Uh, and every, can and you she was her? someone worthy of being a supermodel. Again, this and is were not the Cindy women's Crawford was. show. Okay, here's who you forgot. Eric Estrada, who was I a, don't think he was I'm done. I'm on number two. Okay, well, Maybe that's going. my number Get one. <laughs> that might be my number one. Probably, okay, let's go. Oh number one is... Eric Estrada. Uh, no. no. Look, I'm look. That would be uh, so let's get funny. real, guys. Let's stop this for a second because okay. I'm I am super. <laughs> I am super nervous to mention this number one with you. Oh guys. no! Okay. Is it Justin Bieber? <laughs> Is it? No. How oh. dare you? I'm sorry. I just, Karen, you just said you were nervous. Karen, pour me 15 more drinks. <laughs> I am so mad at you. I think we'll get even more <laughs> nail hunks if we give him more drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's Dan Carol. Mara. Hey. That's Carol Alt. A beautiful She's woman. She's pretty. Beautiful woman. Right? Yeah. I mean, that looks very Photoshopped, but beautiful woman. Listen, my number one is uh, just a guy who, his movies have made profound impacts on me. He's a oh, total weirdo. Doesn't, I don't even know if he wants to be a teen heartthrob, but he just kind of fell into that. And he's just so kooky that I, I got to love him so much. The problem is, is that he's in a lot of shit right now. So I'm a little worried about dropping this one on you. Oh, boy. But my number one heartthrob is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Uh, <laughs> okay. When he was younger, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah okay. I'll give you that. That's like fair. 21 Jump Street. Friday, uh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, yeah, yeah uh, like I'll give you that when he was younger, All yes. Right. First, some fun facts on him. He what Freddy Krueger, when he first acted, do you know who inspired him to act or who convinced him to act? No. Nicolas Cage. He's like, hey, dude, you should try this out. Um, he also used to be in a band that once opened for Iggy Pop. Hmm. He's allergic to chocolate. Uh, he's been arrested twice. And in two thousand, so far, I'm sorry. So far, yeah, <laughs> no shoot, no, nah, no doubt. Yeah. And in two thousand nine, he was named the sexiest man alive. Okay, I mean, I will give you that. Younger, yes. Now, no. I think now he he looks well, dirty. Too much, too much jewelry. He looks I think dirty. He's losing his Where's hair. Where's a lot of jewelry? I think I, he's losing. He, what the hell is wrong with that, Dan Morrow? Well, what you is either, wrong? Okay, with losing your hair. Right, he's so doing a lot of stuff to compensate for it and stuff. But but yeah. he is a great. So my, if you're going bald, just go bald. Like yeah, oh, so me, I'm doing it right. It. You did yeah, it right. You did it like, right. I have a decent shaped head too. You, right. right. Yeah. You look good with bald. Thanks. But but there. I'm so happy right now. But like. The people that are like, you know, the comb over or mm. women, I, I'm going to tell Painful. you men, I'm going to tell you men now, women, we don't want that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Ugh. Don't color your hair. Really? You're distinguished. Yeah, you I told my gray. best friend, Eric, you for years. So tell a dye you job. can tell a dye job. I don't care Ugh. how good it is. You can tell women weird, can tell a dye job. You're, you're great. Like, okay, women do it, but. If I was gray, I would look. I would look old. If Dan has his salt and pepper hair, he looks distinguished. Looks hot, right? I'm. So, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. Looks hot. So Dan Mara, there you go. I'm very distinguished. I man. mean, this is the episode <laughs> to tell you that, right? That's right. All right. Uh, my favorite, the dude. I, the reason I picked Giant Depp too is because he's in like so many of my favorite movies. I like the weird stuff, you he's know. Just the, a- He's just a chameleon as far as an actor. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah, I, I'll talent. I'll give it yeah. I'll give it he's a good actor. I don't know and if he's a one he's, of my heart throbs. He he younger years, mm-hmm. yes. Now I just get that I, I'm sorry, I know this is awful, but I do get that dirty vibe from him. <laughs> like if you look him up now, like was it the 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 facial hair stuff he's got? Maybe going? his hair like just kind of looks island. like he does doesn't look he like just, he bathes. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. look like he bathes. And that's he just not doesn't your thing. Right? Some girls yeah, like that. Some no, like I that. like I like a man who's clean. clean? Thank you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. good. Dan Morrow and smells looks good. like he showers constantly. And smells good. <laughs> yes. Listen, my favorite. This is why too. My favorite Tom Cruise movies or Tom Cruise. My favorite Johnny Depp movies. <laughs> Finding Neverland, Blow, Sleepy Hollow, Nightmare on Elm Street, Pirates of the Caribbean, Corpse's Bride, Edward Scissorhands. I liked Edward Scissorhands. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was the most bonkers movie I've ever seen. I love it. Rango, Ed Wood, Sweeney Todd, Gilbert. Who's, what's eating Gilbert? Gilbert Great. Great. 
I mean, it, the list goes on and on. This guy is the man. Now, real quick, Dan Morrow, can I give you my honorable mentions? Give me a mention. Three of them or whatever. Yeah. Tom Cruise, Leo DiCaprio, who I don't think he ever wanted to be a heartthrob. Leo but, DiCaprio, yeah. I see that, yes. Yeah. And Rob Lowe. But the one person, remember I messaged you earlier and I was like, do we have to stick to our 70 to 99 right. pro? And you said yes, so I kept... <laughs> You don't think Johnny Depp looks good in that picture? Absolutely not. Yeah, it's a little. He's, he's going through his. He's going through a lot. Give the man a break. Weird Michael Jackson that's face, a, too. Yeah, Ooh. you're kind of right. That's rough. Like very eccentric or something. Eccentric, yes. Yeah. Yes, he yes. Is. But he's, that's part of the reason is. I love him. But um, there's one heartthrob, the only musician heartthrob I have on this list, that even though he doesn't fall into the time frame, I am so excited to mention this person. And I hope you agree. But to me, number one heartthrob, if if we went farther, would have been the king. Elvis. He Elvis. Was a, he was a dreamboat. Yeah. Presley. Yeah. He was a dreamboat. The yeah. man. He was the heartthrob. Good looking the the heartthrob. I was, was so upset heartthrob. I couldn't put him on this list because he, damn, he brought it. Mm -hmm. He did. Like no one else before. And I, I you know, I would say no, no one else after. No. Yeah. Do you think, I have a question for you guys. So you got guys like Leonardo DiCaprio, you got guys like Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. Is there even, I know we live in a different age now with internet and everything. Is there a new Tom Cruise? Is there going to be another Brad Pitt, Leo DiCaprio? Oh, I'm like sure. They, like of the past. Can you name one? Uh, hmm. I think we're so stuck in the in the past right See, now. We have no idea. Like if what's I asked my right if now. I asked my my older girls, it's probably one of the uh, the K pop. No, probably. Look, artists. that's what I'm saying. No, no, I yeah. hear what you're saying. That those are like the top of the top because for are today, the girls Channing are Tatum. For the, he's a good one. Channing yeah. Tatum. Yeah, yeah, that's a manly man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, I don't see another Brad Pitt of today. Yeah, I don't know who who would even be on a on a 16 magazine or a tiger beat right or if they yeah. tiger have beat those do they even have them anymore no <laughs> tiger beat that's like <laughs> let, me, let me throw some names at you eric estrada we, yeah he was a he chips. was amazing yes he was okay and he broke the barriers too he yeah. was hispanic and yes and he was a heartthrob and, and he just had charisma okay matthew mcconaughey mm. oh yes didn't think about that one but I, again, I just read his book but again he is phenomenal. no he is he's a good looking guy but again i like them to smell good and he doesn't believe he does. in yeah. he doesn't believe in um God, i forget about that he, one yeah he doesn't believe in like soap or yeah, deodorant. deodorant yeah and, he looks like um, one of those dudes yeah so that kind of turns me off greasy. a little when looks, i look looks, at him they look but greasy. he is a very good looking man mm -hmm. he is sexy i'll give you that all right but Days is and that confused? but Come is on. that Okay, so what he would be the nineties, I guess. Yeah, Jason Confused yeah. was nineties. Yeah, he'd be yeah. the nineties. Okay. I'll give you that. All right. It's good looking I guy. I think we're good. I think Oh, that's, that's it. I Dang. think that's it. He's been <laughs> waiting this whole episode to he drop just, that bomb on us. Yeah, no. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I wonder what the, I wonder if people like our and list. Eric Estrada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to bring the female well, list. Leave it in the, the comments. Female. Yeah. Because now we're on YouTube. Hopefully this all recorded. Yeah. So post in the comments who you think we left out from <laughs> As a, a teen heartthrob or a sex idol or se a sex object, I guess, because <laughs> half these guys weren't. Watch, watch what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it in the comments and let us know what you think. And that's it for now. But you can all, always follow us on YouTube. <laughs> like it. On, like on it. Instagram. Like it. You want to be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Check out the Pillars of Hamilton, hosted by our very own Sam Sytels, available on all listening platforms. For dates where you can see me in my classic rock show or find out more about me, go to danmorrow.com, M-A-R-R-O.com. And for all your custom vinyl needs, T-shirts, birthdays, weddings, and other occasions, please see the beautiful Karen on Instagram at Embellished by Karen Lynn. Well, it's time to close up the shop for tonight. So for Sam Sytels, Karen, and myself, we look forward to serving you next time at the Nostalgia Cafe. I heart you, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.